Thank you for joining us today. So we're all here at KubeCon to learn more about cloud technologies. If we could look around the room right now, we would see a huge group of people with different backgrounds and skills, all leveraging cloud technologies for different reasons. In fact, saying, I guess we're all cloud engineers now has become a bit of a complaint throughout the industry. So today we want to talk about who are we building these cloud technologies for? The computers, to make them run faster, to make them more reliable. Why are we doing this? I think we should always remember that what we build is intended for humans to use. Humanity in general depends on cloud computing more and more, especially in these socially distant times. So as the definition of a cloud user expands, we have to make sure we're building tools that help this diverse user base leverage the cloud. So how do we build great tools for a set of users who aren't like us? We work with a team of developers who aren't like us. To build strong tools, we need engineering teams with many different skills, backgrounds, and perspectives. Let's take a look at some cloud engineers out there. Hi, I'm Guinevere. As a musician, I learned to quickly recognize patterns, which now helps me to design and build intuitive deploy tooling that is easy to use for every engineer at GitHub. And hello, my name's Leah. I bring several skills from my previous job as a motorcycle stunt rider to my role as a reliability engineer today, including breaking down big and sometimes scary problems, creating a plan and knowing when to just go for it. And these skills have helped me both learn how to do a wheelie and also migrate services to the cloud. Uh, we would also like to highlight Shupa, who uses her skills breaking down content to speak to people with different experience levels to help her build open source cloud authentication tools. Um, as a software engineer at HashiCorp, Tahoot supports struggling teammates in a constructive way to help her team move forward and resolve conflict, which is a skill that she developed in her previous role managing students, teachers, and families in a business context. And finally, Emily, a musician turned software engineer who uses her skills from her eclectic background to build platforms that help Google Cloud users manage their billing and budgets. So what do all of these engineers have in common? Who you thought I was going to say Kubernetes, didn't you? In fact, it's that we all learned how to code and got jobs in the tech industry thanks to Ada Developers Academy. Ada Developers Academy is a nonprofit tuition-free coding school in Seattle aimed at women and gender diverse adults, and it has a great social justice mission. If you're interested in leveraging the ADA network to bring different perspectives to your engineering team, there are a few ways you can get involved. First, you can sponsor an intern, or you could consider hiring a graduate from our ever-growing pool of graduates from the boot camp, or you could support or attend our annual alum conference, which is called ADCon, and you can get more information about that at adcon.com. So to wrap this up, while maybe not everyone is a cloud engineer, everyone is in fact a cloud user. And with that, we can say that to keep cloud native everywhere, we must work with engineers that do in fact come from everywhere. Thank you. Thank you.